Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. We've got a fun video for you today. Um, we're going sourcing. We'll see you at the Goodwill bin. Oh, we're not Goodwill. No, we don't have a Goodwill bins local to us, I wish. <laughs> I've heard so many great things about Goodwill bins. But we're going to Goodwill today. And we're also going to go to a consignment store and see what we can find there. So stay tuned, guys. We'll see what we can get. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. We're doing a fun video today. I've got so many things to show you. We went sourcing today. We went to Goodwill. I also found some a, a really neat thing at the um, consignment store that we went to. Um, and also I got my boxes in. I got three out of four of my boxes in. And so you're not gonna, I, I may do an unboxing of one of those, but I'm not gonna get to all of them today. We'll finish those up tomorrow. So I'm gonna show you what I got in my thrift haul and then I might do another box of unboxing we will see how long this is and how that goes I'm Sandra welcome to my channel if you're new here if you're coming back I'm so glad that you came back welcome to our thrift haul today and um we sell on eBay, Poshmark, Macari. I also sell some on Depop. And I've also got a few things on uh, Facebook Marketplace. We're checking out, see how that goes. So we're just kind of dabbling into a little bit of everything to see what all we can accomplish. So glad you guys have welcome, uh, have come along with us today. Um, we spent a couple of hours out and about. We were just kind of doing some personal stuff for thrifting. We've been looking for some things just for us. And then also some things for obvious our business. So let me show you what we found at the consignment store today. I'm so excited. My husband loves looking at things when we're out and about. He's really getting into all this with me. We're having a lot of fun doing it together, building our business together, thrifting together. We list together. We just have our own little things we do to build our business together. We're working it as a team. It's just been a blast. So let me show you what he found today. We did comps on this. Um, I would have passed these up. I would not have looked at these. There are times when I pass things up and he looks at them and he looks up the comps and then um, finds just a really great deal. So it's always fun when you have an extra set of eyes to kind of look at things that you may not have looked at or you completely passed up. So two sets of eyes sometimes is just fun because you catch things that you may not have caught otherwise. So I'm going to show you this. There are nine of these. They're all different and unique. Now, the really fun thing about this is there's nine of them. And again, like I said, they're all different. This is the second one. They're really, really pretty. Let me show you the back. So this is Dark Darkio Darso Limages. And um, these are all dated, like this one is dated 1978, and they each have its own unique plate. And again, my husband found these, Dan found these. This one is also unique and different. You can see the date there. I will go through and show you these. They're just so pretty. And the nice thing is, is they were listed. She had them up for $3.50 a piece. We did some comps. And they were showing it selling anywhere for $15 to $20 per plate. So we're going to do that. We're going to list them probably up at $20. And the nice thing is, is after watching other videos and seeing other, other people's source, how they communicate with people, I have seen some people go to, obviously, garage sales, but sometimes thrift stores or consignment stores. And they see something and they maybe ask to see if they can get a better deal on the price that they have. And since we were buying all of these, they had them listed individually. Now, most of the time when we go to Goodwill, they'll list something like this, this as a batch. And they'll put one price on it as a batch. With these, they were listed each individually at this consignment store for $3.50 a piece. Since I knew we were going to be buying all nine of them, I actually asked them if they could give us a discount. I was expecting that they maybe give us a couple, two or three dollars off, but they came back and the, the, the gal that was running the counter, she went and talked to the owner. They offered me a dollar off each plate. So instead of paying three fifty dollars a piece, equaling about $35, she offered us a dollar off each plate. So it was roughly around $10 off. So we paid $25 plus tax for all nine of these plates, which made them down to two fifty dollars a piece. So I was so glad that I asked to see if we could get a discount because we were buying all of them and not just one or two, excuse me. 
So that's that one. So I was so happy that they gave me that deal. And there's that one. Like I said, these are just really unique and really pretty. Got a few more here. There's that one. I just think these are, they're just so classy. So pretty and so classy. I love, I love how the ladies are dressed. I love how vintage they are. I love um, what they're wearing. It's just, they're just so classic. This one is super cute too. I just think that that's so sweet. And then one more on those. This is the last one. Another really sweet, very elegant piece. So we got those at the consignment store that we went to. That was all that we got there. So we got those plates. Um, nine of them for $25 plus tax. And again, we're going to look at selling them for a minimum of $15 a piece is our goal. So let's move on to Goodwill. I'm just going to do a video of the thrift haul that we did today. And then we'll do separate videos of the thread of boxes. So this is what we got at Goodwill today. I'm excited about what we got here. Again, pretty much everything in the box here that I'm going to show you as far as the hard goods my husband Dan found. And bless his heart, he just has such a good eye for things. Um, we found these. There were four of them. And let me see if I can show you. These plates here, they're 75 cents a piece we paid. And he found comps on them for between 8 and $10 a plate. So we got those. I'm going to go ahead and just, they're all the same. So I'm just going to set those aside. We don't need to show you all since they have the same print. And then he found this. This was $3, and he said the comps on this were running for $25. It's a really, really adorable mini porcelain tea set for just probably just a, a little girl. I thought that was just so sweet. And then we got this bill. It also was very inexpensive. Um, this was a dollar, and Dan said that it was comping for around $15 plus dollars. So we got that, super great. The thing that I love about our thrift stores in this area, like I mentioned in the past videos, the pricing at these thrift stores has been so good. Um, I cannot complain. We've been hearing, I've heard so many people on Instagram and YouTube, and even re more recently talk about how their prices have gone up at their Goodwill stores. I was following one gal, um, she, their, their pants and shoes are like $15, $20 a pair. And I'm paying $4.25 for the shoes that I will show you today. I am just so grateful. So we found a comp on this. They had a bunch of other of these that have the lid. And it's just the same on that side. Um, and they were running, depending on the shape, and the um the, the 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 print they were running anywhere from like ten dollars on up to twenty twenty five this particular one was comped we saw it at i think fifteen to twenty and we paid four for that so we'll definitely at least double triple our money back on that so we're going to give that a try and then the last thing he found at this thrift store um were these he um did a comp on these these are collectible pictures this is by Sarah um, Mita, and they're just really pretty. We're going to sell this as a set. This one in particular was $175. This one, let me show you, was listed $2, and this one also $175. So we paid $6, and he saw comps for between $15 and $20. Just something fun and super cute. We thought we'd give those a try. So that is that haul for that store. I'm just gonna kind of put these back really quick um, so that they are not on the floor, possibly getting stepped on because we are not gonna be listing these right away. It's exciting because we now have more stuff to list. We were very low on inventory, as I mentioned in a video. Um, a couple weeks ago, I was running very low on inventory. I am not low on inventory now between what we got at Goodwills and the boxes that I've gotten in. 
and just what we're doing. So we've got a lot of inventory now. We're going to keep it going. Okay, so I don't typically get American Eagle. I would like to have more jeans because I know jeans are just like the comfy pants that most people wear. I'm not getting skinny jeans anymore. I've been hearing that skinny jeans aren't selling as much. I know me particularly too. I also prefer boot cut or straight leg. Um, and I'm wearing comps on these. These are um, these are distressed. They have just a regular straight pant leg, which is nice. And they do have the American Eagle thing on the back. This size on these, these are a boot cut. Um, it says boot cut here. I thought it was straight leg, but it is boot cut. Um, these are 26, 28, so that's a great size. Um, they do also have the distressing on the back here and guys again I only paid four dollars and seventy five cents for these jeans which is such a great deal um, so so we got those and I'm excited um, to just a minor interruption no worries um, so I'm excited to see how these do again they are specifically distressed and I looked up ones that were specifically distressed they were going anywhere from $25 to $40. So even if I list them at $35.30 um, and get $25 for them, I'm happy with that. Because at $4.75, I just think that I wanted to give that a try. Um, and I have been hearing that American Eagle does sell. It's not one of the higher brands, but they do sell. So um, I'm not sure if I'm going to choose to sell shorts or not. I do have some shorts in stock from previous boxes that I've received. But I don't know that I'm specifically going to focus on shorts unless they're a higher brand, a nicer brand. Just because I've noticed comps on shorts, even for jean shorts, comps on shorts, they're running, maybe you sell them for $10, $15 if you're lucky. Um, and for a buy-in price, I just don't think it's worth it to focus on shorts because there's just a lot, just not a lot to be made on shorts unless they're a nicer brand short and you can sell them for like maybe 30 or 35, like men's shorts that are the nicer shorts. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be getting shorts. I contemplated getting a box from Jomar um, of shorts, but then I ran comps on the types of shorts that they said were gonna come in the box. And again, they were only running about $10, $12 for selling price, sold price. And you know, to get them in the box, they were looking at like five to $6 a piece. To me, that's not worth it. So, I just think that it's too high of a cog um, for shorts to get $10, $12, even at $15. Um, if I'm going to do something like that, I want to be able to get at least $20, $25 for that. So, we're going to move on to some shoes that I got. I ran comps on all of these, and I'm really excited to see if these do. Actually, let me show you this. I'm really excited to see what these do. I got this men's shirt. It is an extra large. If it was a medium or a large, I probably would have not have purchased it. And the reason why I got it is because it's a Polo Nike Golf Extra Large Dry Fit. I did run comps. They were kind of all over the place, but the minimum comp that I saw was like $20. And I paid four and a quarter for this. And it had, does have the Nike logo on it. Um, it is a Polo. It's a men's Polo Extra Large, like I said. And I paid four and a quarter for it. So I am hoping to get at least 20 for this. Um, so I'm hoping I'll wash that up and we'll see what it does. It didn't have any pilling. I will wash it up, just kind of make sure that there's nothing on it. Um, and we'll see how that works. So on to the shoes. Now, again, like I said, I ran comps. I, I run comps on everything when they're store. I ran comps on these and I thought, especially with spring and summer just around the corner, people doing weddings, um, you know, get-togethers, all kinds of different things that go on, um, I wanted to give these a try. Um, these are on Michael, Michael Kors, and they are in leather. It, I did check to see if it was man-made or leather, and it said leather upper, and then it says rubber console and eight and a half medium. So I wanted to give these a try. I hope that these do really well because I know that these kind of shoes become, especially with the, um, this, the wedge look and then the platform, they're actually in really good condition. So I'm just going to clean them up and um, see how those do. So I'm excited to try those. And then I found these. 
you know I'm really glad that I bring comps on these because um, I was very surprised I was expecting it to be maybe ten fifteen dollars for these these again are Michael Michael Kors these are a size eight and it is a um, PU upper I'm not sure what that means but anyway I did comps on the exact shoe like this and these were running anywhere from 25 to 35 and even 40 for a pair of these the soles are in really good condition the heels look great the front looks great you can see a little bit of, of wear up here but these are in really good condition so I'm definitely probably gonna list these for about 35 between 40 and 35 and see what they do so I'm super excited about those and then I'm going to do the tennis shoes first and then we'll do the last fun pair of shoes. So I found these. Again, I'm going to clean them up and wash them. I also did comps on these. Um, they do have a little bit of something on the front here, but I do believe that once I wash them, they will be just fine. These were A6 and they even have like some hair on them, but once they wash up, it's no big deal. These are A6. They are a size um, 8 in women's. And they look to be in pretty good condition. Like I said, I ran comps on these. And they were running between 25 and 35 for A6. And these are Duo Max. So it's Duo Max on the side. So I'll put that in the listing. And then also it says SPBA right here. So I'll put that in the listing. So and again, we'll see how these do. I think these would be a great spring, summer. I'll probably list these for 25, 30. Let's see how they do. And then the last fun pair that I got that I'm excited to see how they do. These are, I, again, I almost didn't get these up until I decided to run comps on it. I'm so glad I'm running comps on things that I don't think that I should run comps on. These are Stuart Weitzman. And it's funny because they have like a sparkly look. And they just like, a, a it's sparkly. And then and, and I thought maybe it was because of the wear. But I looked at both shoes and it's the texture of the cloth it's sparkly in some areas and then just kind of a straight look in other areas and it's made that way on purpose but the sole is in really great shape and i double checked all the corking all around and it's also in really great shape on both of them um the back looks really good it doesn't look like all beat up from driving which is super nice and the straps looked really good this is a size 8. Yep, these are size 8. So I'm going to list these. I believe I'm going to try listing these again for probably between 35 and 40, depending on what comps are once I list them. But I just thought those were just perfect for spring and summer coming up. So we shall see how those do. Okay, now that is it for the Goodwill haul, you guys. I am going to do separate videos for Thread Up. Um, just because it's a you know the box is an unboxing so I am going to do separate on that you guys Thank you so much for joining us. I'm so glad that you joined us for this um, Haul today if you like these unboxings and hauls and we do wet sold videos And I haven't done any tips and tricks lately because we've been so busy with other videos Also, if you have other ideas for videos and I'm able to do those, please comment down below um, somebody mentioned to me the other day that um, my comments were turned off and so I rearranged my videos I did not realize that I'd done that so all my videos have comments availability now so t please do comment below and let me know um, what you like about the videos if you see things that you're like wow yeah that's a great thing or a great buy or things like that I did try to do a video while I was thrifting today um, I'm going to double check the feed and see if it's even something that I can use because it was my first time using this kind of video feeding. Um, if it's not, then I may just go ahead and leave it out of the video. If it works, then I may put it in the video. We shall see. But either way, this was a great haul. You guys, thank you again so much for joining us. And stay tuned for some unboxings coming up, you guys. Have a really great day, and we'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.